We love hip hop. Which leans a little bit, go a little bit somber for a second. Um, I guess I can go find this on my own page. Hold your head to Dope Boy DQ. Okay. I had to, um, like all of us as the blogs, we keep people up to the news of what's going on and stuff. Right. He's in critical condition after a broad daylight shooting that happened in Scarborough about a day ago. I'm sorry. I, I told you I'm going to be taking a sharp left. You know what I'm saying? Easy factor. What up? So a few of the blogs are posting about this. And I did see the story um, go down up on the news earlier in the day. And I was like, wow. Um, like, this is what's going on over here. Like, like I live in the boroughs. So I was like, damn, the boroughs is getting kind of, st- it's, it's always been sticky, but it's getting stickier. So at first when I done the blog started posting it, they had said that he was deceased. And... I didn't see any confirmation of that. So when I decided to make my post, and that was like way after everybody made their post, right? Um, It was said that he was in critical condition. Now, I don't know. This is yesterday. Now, around this time, he might still be um, in critical condition. I heard there's a few different things that are going on. Okay. And hold your head to to, um, DQ once again. And, you know, his family, hold your head to his family because no matter what, no matter how much these guys are in the streets or, or allegedly in the streets or the way they diss their ops on rap songs and different things like that, they still got parents. You know what I'm saying? They still got loved ones who ain't got nothing to do with any of that stuff and care only if their loved one is safe. You know what I'm saying? So here's the problem that I've um, been seeing with some of this stuff. Because I'm just getting to know this gentleman myself. Um, and I've heard some of his music before. And not to act like his music's not good. His music's great. But it didn't really penetrate my, my mindset like that. Because when I first heard the first few tunes, it was like... And yo, yo, don't forget I'm smoking Swiper. I'm smoking two-way. Yo, I heard Swiper died over Cody. And niggas keep trying to diss on my dogs But how many niggas got sent to the stars Smoking glee, put me up on Mars Think about times It's a lot of smoking on this person Smoking on that person And I understand that that's just the, what Is happening now But I've also said multiple times There's two hip hops There's way more than two hip hops But there's definitely two def- um, Defining hip hops that we have In our Toronto community And it's the ones that are just about the art and making the best music and having the best rhymes. And then there's the ones who they do that too, but they don't really care about the art part as much. They're just like, listen, I'm good at what I do. So now I'm going to take my content in what I do and be like, you, I'm smoking you. Um, F this block, F this um, block by name or by number. I'm smoking on this person who passed away a couple of months ago. This person who passed away last week. So things get sticky. I beat it the, what? What? Beat it out the car. Smoking on Remy. Oh my god. And yo, yo, don't forget I'm So these videos surfaced and I'm here up on Canadian Underground King. Salute to them. These are not old or these are not new. These are these have been out. Right? What's this here? Keezy takes shots at DQ. I want some Dairy Queen. Wow, the streets are wild. This nigga was just with me that same night. Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. And now for some, oh, this gentleman was um, shot here in Scarborough. Okay. In Scarborough, there's a whole bunch of different issues that go on over here. I'm not going to get too deep into the street polys of who, what side is beefing with who. And to be honest, I don't even know. You know what I'm saying? I'm too old to know exactly who is. Be- Actually, let me not say that. I do know, but I ain't going to be telling y'all all of that shit. Okay? I'm going to play stupid. Gangster, you know we coming, man. 
big bomb TV general shit. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the her niggas. Hold on, let me make sure y'all can see that on the screen properly. And big salute to um all parties involved, okay? Boogs is currently car- incarcerated, um, as well as Bucks GME. Shout out to the 44, shout out to 110, shout out to LNC, shout out to FBO, you already know how the fuck they're coming, but yo, I drop a little quick smash for these fucking pussy niggas. Yo, no boy think he hit, so my youngest playing tag, catch him up in traffic, he get one to his head, his bitch tried to save him, now she call herself the feds, he had best tried to find him, but I know he brain dead, please don't ever bring DC name. So, Basically, these guys are responding from inside to these incidents that are going on outside. I'm starting to get deep into a wormhole of, of, of nastiness, so be aware, okay? RBG Investments, what up? Um, let me see what you have to say, because you always have some really good insight. You know what I'm saying? These mans just talk the same 10 words and recycle them. I feel like I'm like I lose brain cells. Don't be sorry for the old man rant, yo. It's real talk, fam. You know what I'm saying? I got to be very selective with the words that I use when I'm describing or reacting to these different things that are going on. But I will say this. A lot of this drama that a lot of these Toronto rappers are going through, whether it's the incarcerations, whether it's even with the shootings and stuff like that. I'm not going to lie. A lot of these niggas bring the shit onto themselves. Okay. I'm going to add on top of that with all due respect because, you know, there's a lot of trauma involved in everything that's going on here. Whether it's the man that are sitting inside, whether it's the man that are sitting inside or it's, you know, the parents of all of these gentlemen who have to deal with the incarceration, who have to deal with the shootings, all these different types of things. There's this bare trauma, whirlwind of trauma that's all over the place that these guys are dealing with, okay? So it becomes kind of a, sec- a circular or circular thing, like a cycle, basically, is what I'm trying to say. But a lot of this stuff could be avoided, Okay? Trust me, like I seen with books and I, it's just even I'm playing this because I'm just bringing context to this whole thing. But these guys are not in a good situation to be talking about man's on the outside. And to me. Like I said, they bring it on to themselves. Books could have been in a way better position in life right now. Okay. I've interviewed Boogs maybe about three times now. And he's also reached the heights of the Toronto rap game as far as the underground goes. The heights. I'm talking about six-figure record deal. One of the first music videos out here from the man who had a million plus views. Like, I, I get passionate about this shit because it actually upsets me, okay? Like, this young gentleman, um, DQ, him going through what he's going through, even though, like I said, a lot of these guys bring this stuff on themselves. The types of energy that you put out there into the universe, I'm smoking this person, smoking that person, then people want to smoke you too. But then when guys like Boogs and those guys are, are chiming in on it, it's like they don't even care about the future. And that's what's tragic to me. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, the man has re- was reaching the heights. He's doing music videos in Barcelona. He has two songs with the boy. And mans are behind bars. Okay, so to me, don't even talk about these niggas. Deal with the fact that you dropped the ball on this shit, bro. It shit hurts me, fam. Every time I think about it, every time he comes back up on the on the blocks, it actually pisses me off because he. I like Boogs' music. 
He's one of the people who I actually like his music. And you fumbled the bag. Holy. Nah, man. All of you guys, this smoking op stuff is not getting none of you niggas nowhere, fam. You know what I'm saying? This super negative energy that you guys are transmitting through these music waves is only getting you niggas locked up or in critical condition. It's not working out. And I understand that man of them come from the hood. They come from wild circumstances. So what you going to rap about? You're going to rap about what you see. But a lot of niggas came from the hood back in the days and rapped about what they seen and they didn't have to pay the consequences of what you niggas is paying now because they wasn't talking about the same thing. Okay? We could be talking about the hood. Yeah, I came, came from the hood. I got to sell wheat. Um, wait, I got to sell bricks. I got to... You could talk about all that shit. But when it's like, oh, I'm smoking on this person and I'm smoking on this other person's kid, then what the fuck do you expect to happen? Come on, man. Y'all got to get it together. <coughs> like we see this shit so many times over here in Toronto now that it's almost, de we're almost desensitized to it. We just post about it. But like, y'all niggas have been following this whole Chicago drill wave, UK drill wave, and trying to smoke as many ops as those guys smoke. And literally, literally, we're seeing the proof of concept over and over and over again. And niggas is like, me, I'm next. Can I be the next one to, um, to talk about smoking my ops so I could be in jail or dead next? Please me next. Listen, fam. I know y'all niggas is smarter than that to be doing so much, so much stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to leave my rant there. I'm just not even, you know what I'm saying? But get it together, guys. You know what I'm saying? Hold your head to this young gentleman, dope boy DQ. Okay. And hold your head to Boogs, Bucks, GME, okay? Because when you guys come home, you can still get a career going. But not if you have to look over your shoulder for the things that you're saying online because you're bored. Figure it out. And don't, don't DM me on no, on no badness about yo, what you're saying. I'm talking about the truth. Don't get mad at the truth. Trust me. Um, speaking of the truth, see y'all got me all actually getting stuffed up with the rant, man. Jesus Christ. Uh. Anyhow, we love hip hop. Love hip -hop.